Hi folks, welcome to another Cash Card video. Sorry it's been quite a long time since I've done one of these. Um, just lots going on in my life at the moment, but yeah. So today's video is actually a sponsored video. So first of all, I want to say a massive thank you to the company Top Dom. Um, they have supplied me with a battery tester. And the battery tester in question is this here. This is the BT100. Um, I'll put links below for it, and also there will be a discount code, a limited time discount code for you to use to get a bit of money off it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go through what it actually is, what it does, and then I'm going to go down to the cash card and I'm going to show you it actually working and uh, what you can use it for. So let's get straight down to uh, get it unboxed and see what we've got. So this is what you get when you order yourself a BT100. Uh, this is a pretty small device to be honest, and it also has the positive negative terminals and it has a wire which I'm sure we'll see behind in a minute. So on the back of the packaging it tells you all about it. Uh, it will show you in simple form with a green, amber or red light the condition of your battery and battery tests and it also explains um, how it would be in regards to a battery test, a charging test and a cranking test. So they're the three main uses of it. Uh, it's designed for quite a lot of different battery types. Um, obviously it will be usable on your standard car battery um, and I'll explain a bit more about that when we get down to the car. So let's get it unboxed. So inside, quite simple, we have the device and the two terminals and also it comes with some instructions here, quite a decent instruction guide. So looking at the guidebook, it's in quite a lot of different languages from Italian to Russian to French, German, Spanish and English. So yeah, it's quite good for explaining what exactly you need to do. Um, it shows the features of the device and also how to do each of the individual tests with screenshots as well which is great so you know exactly what you're looking at on the screen explaining through the three main features which like I've said that's the basic battery test the cranking test and also the charging test now the device actually takes all of its power from your car battery so it has no internal batteries there's no way of turning it on now it will only work once you fit your two terminals to positive and negative on a battery um, so if you do have a completely flat battery, which is obviously unlikely in a car, even when your car doesn't start, you will have some charge still in it. Um, you won't be able to get it to work unless you've got some charge. Now going through the buttons, quite simple. There's just five buttons on here. There's basically up and down to go through the menus. There's an exit button to go back. There's an M button to go to the menu and an enter button to go into that setting. On the back of it, just a little bit of information about the device. And like I say, the two terminals. The length of the wire is about a meter long uh, with nice strong jaws on the clamps. So really for explaining exactly how this works I need to go down to the car and show you the uh, the product in action so let's go do that now. Okay so we're out in the car and obviously hooking this up to the battery is fairly self-explanatory. Uh, your battery should be in this place if you've got a cash car J11 like mine. Uh, you've got your red terminal, black terminal, red is your positive, black is your negative. So to hook it up, we just need to get the red on first. So to any of the um, exposed terminals under here, make sure it's got good contact. And then the black and two, same on this side. Once you've done that and got good contact, we'll go with that. You'll see that the device will turn on. There we go, so you can see what our current battery level is at, which is 12.55 volts. Obviously it will go down because we are using the battery as such now. So let's go through some of the features that are available in this. So what we do is click enter and it brings up our menu. Now your options are battery test, cranking test, charging test. So we'll start off with the battery test. Now to do the battery test, you need to know what kind of battery you've got. Okay, now I know that this is a regular flooded. In fact, I've got a little sticker just on the top here that shows me that, so it's a regular flooded battery. And then you need to find out what your CCA is. And in my case, it's 720, which is just under here again. We've got 720. If you want to change that, you can just go up and down here to get to the right level. Once you've done that, enter. And quite simply, it will test your battery. Shouldn't take too long at all. And there we go, so I have apparently a good battery. So we've got the lights here, you'd have a green light for good, amber for charge, and a red light for bad. That's a simple way of looking at it, but also on the screen it tells you all about the battery as well. So it's, it's saying it's a healthy battery, it's 68%, and the charge is 70%, and it's rated 
720cc as you can see so that is quite simply the battery test that is the main use that i would say that we could do with this unit um we'll just go on to a few of the other options as well which are really useful on here so another feature of it would be the cranking test and this is showing how well it's the how well the battery is performing when the engine starts so to do that we we'll just go down to cranking test press enter and then it tells us to start the engine so if we start the engine like so So there you go, you see it, it, it noted that the engine had started and it just asked you to confirm that it had started and then it shows again how the cranking test went, so in this case it went normal. And the final use of this would be the charging test which will show how well the battery is charging whilst the engine is running. So to do that we just press enter on here and then start the engine like so. So there we can see the result of that is that it's charging normally and that's everything you need. So once you've done all of those tests you can review all of the data by going to the fourth option here. So if we go to review data it remembers everything we've done test wise so the good battery test that we got we can press enter and go on to the next one which was the cranking test the result of that was normal and finally the charging test again the charging result is normal. So there you have it a really useful little device here from Top Don. Um, it's pretty basic in what it does, but from many of my other videos that you might have seen, a lot of the time, not just on cash cars, on most cars, if you have got errors that involve lights coming on your dashboard, the very first thing to do, I would suggest, is to test the battery. So a device like this is you know, a lifesaver, because if you go to a garage, some garages will do a free battery test, others will charge you probably more than the cost of this device to test your battery. So it's well worth having in. So yeah, thanks again to Top Down for sponsoring this video and supplying this device, and I'll see you guys in the next one.